Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress tutorial series. In this video, we will install a free testimonial plugin for WordPress. Using this plugin, you will be able to create the testimonial submission form. You will be able to create the testimonial slider as well as you will be able to show all the testimonials on the reviews page. So this is the form that you can create using this plugin. So your website visitor will be able to enter their testimonial on your website and you will be able to collect the testimonials from your website and it will publish the testimonial automatically on the reviews page. So this is the kind of slider that you can create and these are the list of testimonials that you can show on the reviews page. So there are different layouts that you can use and all these features are available in the free plugin. And this plugin is compatible with all the page builders. So even if you are not using any page builder plugin, then also you will be able to use this free testimonials plugin on your WordPress website. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now we are going to install a new free plugin for the testimonials. So let's go to plugins and then click on add new. The name of the plugin will be strong testimonials. So let's type in strong in the search box, in the keyword. And here you will see the plugin strong testimonials. This is the free plugin. Click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been activated and these are the pro features of this plugin. So we are going to use the free plugin only. Here you will see the new option added testimonials and you will see all testimonials. If you want to add new testimonial, you can click here. All right now we are going to create a new page for the reviews or the testimonials. So click on all pages and click on add new. Now this plugin does not need Elementor. It can be used with any page builder. So the name of the page will be reviews and click on publish. Now let's see the page. Okay, so this is the default view of this page. Okay, now let's go back to the dashboard. Okay, now let's go to testimonials and click on add testimonials, all testimonials. Now first we are going to add some testimonials here. Click on add new. Okay, here you can type in the name of the person and here you can enter some testimonials so this is the content this is the name of the person now here you can type in the name again email if you want to add email you can add the email company name and company website if you want to fill up the, these fields you can fill up these fields now here is the star rating let's say the client has given you five stars so you can select five star and check this one now, if you want to add image, you can add image. Okay, now let's click on publish. Let's add one more testimonial. This is the content, name of the person. And let's say four star, add the image, publish it. Let's add one more. Publish it. So we have got three testimonials. So let's go to all testimonials and you will see the name of these testimonials. Now we are going to create a views for this, these testimonials. So we'll go to views and click on add new. Okay, so the first one is display. The other one is slideshow. The third one is form and uh, this is a single template so let's start with the display so let's name it as show this view will be used to show the testimonials on the reviews page so select display one or more testimonials so we are going to select all the testimonials so set on one or more testimonials now how do you want to show the new first so i'm going to select newest first quantity all 
now i do not want to show the title so i'm going to uncheck it featured image yes i want to show it now this is for the full name and this is the company name right now we have not set the company name so i'm going to delete this one this is the entire content and add new field we are going to show the ratings so add new field select star rating okay leave it as it is now pagination not necessary now these are the different the templates that you can use this is the default one image on the left light theme and these are the other settings so i'm going to select simple now let's say layout how do you want to show here you will see single layout if you select masonry it will show like this two columns columns and grid okay so i'm going to select normal because we are going to show testimonials one by one i'll show you how does this look now this is the background color the first option is inherit from theme i'm going to select single color and let's use some background color for the testimonials all right now the font color i'm going to select custom and let me show it black dark black okay now let's click on save changes okay so this is the shortcut that we are going to use so now let's go back to the dashboard and go to all pages so we have created reviews page click on edit all right now if you have any page builder you can use the page builder right now i'm going to use the default gutenberg that comes with the wordpress and we are going to use two columns so let's select column in the first column we will show the testimonial and in the second column we are going to add a form which will collect the testimonials from the website so i'm going to use this column section and in this section we are going to paste the short code so go to short code copy this short code now here click on the plus and look for short code enter the short code and let's update it okay, now let's view the page here you will see the testimonials now we have want to remove this default sidebar so i'm going to what i'm going to i'm going to use elementor theme builder so this is how you can use the short code and show the testimonials on the reviews page now let me use the elementor so i'm going to update it and use edit with elementor you will see the short code that we used so let me delete this one and use two columns Let's add some padding here so this plugin works with uh, all page builders so let me search for short code and enter the short code here so this is how all the testimonials will be shown so this is the image name rating and this is the content okay now in this column we are going to add a form which will collect the testimonials so let's go to views so this is the views the display view let's go to add new we are going to create the form so select form and let's name it as reviews form okay the theme will be as it is single background color let me change the background color for this one all right the font color let's make it black and let's click on save changes okay so this is the second shortcut that we got so copy this one let's go back to the page here add another short code paste the code and click on update now let's refresh it and you will see the new form is added here which will collect all the testimonials so these are the fields full name email company name company website heading testimonial reviews all those form fields are there so let's go to the forms again and we are going to change the fields so here you will see the option form 
click on it. Now let me remove some of the fields. So I don't want company name, so I'm going to delete that one. Company website, let's delete that one also. So we are going to use a simple form. Okay, now these are the settings that we need. So click on save changes. Now let's go back to the page and refresh it. So you will see that fields are deleted. So name, email, testimonials, photo and star rating and add testimonials. All right, so these are the fields of the form. Now let's see how we can add a slideshow on this page. The reuse slideshow using this plugin. Let's go back to the views. Click on add new. Name it as slideshow. Select this option, slideshow. One or more, the new first. Now I want to show only, let's say two testimonials in the slide. So I'm going to change from all to count. You can choose the number of testimonials that you want to show in the slideshow. So title, the same thing I'm not going to use. Featured image, content, full name, and I'm going to use the star rating also add and star rating okay now here are the slideshow settings how many slides that you want to show single or multiple so i'm going to use only one transition eight seconds then fade and then for one second so it's going to change the slide after every eight seconds so let's change it to five start automatically continuous sliding pause on hover stop for on interaction so these are the basic settings of the slider. You can change the settings if required. Now adjust the height for each slide or set the height to match the tallest slide. So I'm going to select this one and stretch the slides vertically. So it will show, it will not change the vertical alignment of the slide. Navigation I do not want, or you can say previous and next sides. So it will be on the side. Okay, now these are the templates. Similarly, you can change the background color, font color, and these are the layouts. I'm going to select simple. Okay, now let's save the changes. So this is the third short code. So copy this one. Go back to the page. I'm going to add this slideshow at the top. So I'm going to select another short code here. Add it at the top. Paste the code unless updated. Now let's go back to the page and refresh it. So here you will see the slideshow of the testimonials or the reviews. Okay, now let's try this form. I'm going to use this form to so that people will be able to submit their reviews so let's try this one so i'm using the dummy content here let's use the same content photo let's browse it and star rating and let's add testimonial okay you will see the message here now let's go back to the dashboard and let's see if we can get the testimonial here you will see the notification and here you will see that it is pending so you need to go to edit and from here you can publish it okay now let's go back to the reviews refresh it and you will see the, the latest review here. This is the review that we submitted through this form. All right, so this is how you can collect the reviews on your website and after that you can publish them on your website. So this is one of the free plugin that you can use to show the slideshow of the testimonials or show all the testimonials on a single page, as well as you can collect these testimonials on your website using the testimonial form. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.